we are live folks we are live ladies and gentlemen the trump interview is also live currently so i'm just gonna go directly to it right now i heard we had one of the lowest maybe the lowest mortality rate anywhere in the world you have the numbers please because i heard we had the best mortality rate he did this a bunch of times during the interview number number one low mortality rate i hope you show the scenario because it shows what fake news is all about okay, okay i don't ahead. think i'm fake news but okay. i will we'll put well, our, there you are. we'll put our stats you on. said we had the worst mortality rate in the world I and we have the best it. we went with numbers from johns hopkins university which charted the mortality rate for 20 countries hit by the virus. The U.S. ranked seventh, better than the United Kingdom, but worse than Brazil and Russia. The White House went with this chart from the European CDC, which shows Italy and Spain doing worse, but countries like Brazil and South Korea doing better. Other countries doing better, like Russia, aren't included in the White House chart. Cases are up because we have the best testing in the world and we have the most okay, testing okay, no country has ever done what we've done in terms of testing we are the envy of the world they call and they say the most incredible job anybody's done is our job on testing you look at other countries they don't even do tests they do tests if somebody walks into the hospital they're really sick they test them then or they'll test them in a doctor's office but they don't go around have massive areas of testing and we do it's kind of wild how wrong he is right show me the death chart like people believe well, him why on earth would your administration be involved in a campaign at this point to discredit Dr. Fauci, you who is the nation's lied. top infectious disease expert? Because we're not. If one man from my administration doesn't like him because he made a few mistakes. Look, Dr. Fauci said, don't wear a mask. Dr. Fauci told me not to ban China would be a big mistake. I did it. Bro, the Dr. Fauci says mass rhetoric is so annoying because he said, because there is a shortage for doctors. There's a shortage of PPE for doctors. That's what he said. Dr. Fauci said, don't ban China. Don't ban China. I did. He then admitted that I was right. But you made mistakes too. I guess everybody makes mistakes. I was going to say, you said at one point. It's one person coming in from China and we have it under control it's uh, going to be just fine when you have 15 people and the 15 within a couple of days is going to be down to close to zero uh that's a pretty good job we've done i think we're going to be very good with the coronavirus this is i think fox that news. at some point uh, that's going to sort of what just is disappear going on? this is right literally eventually. fox news dude. Right what the you know, it's going to disappear i'll say it again but does it's that going dis to disappear does that discredit and i'll you? be right i don't think so Right. I don't think so. You know why it doesn't describe it? Because happening? I've been right. From the first day that the CDC said that people should wear masks on April 3rd, you said you weren't going to. You wore a mask for the first time in public at Walter Reed this weekend. Four to six They're weeks. literally we doing a better control. job. Do you regret Chris Wallace is right now grilling Trump harder than like the, the ABC start. interview that Trump and got a while back. Consider? Everybody was saying, don't wear a mask. All of a sudden, everybody's got to wear a mask. And as you know, masks cause problems, too. I Yo, think he's supposed to. But, you're the president, uh, dog. You're literally supposed to be like, governors. we fucked up. Many of the, they like Just take responsibility and be like, we masks, have to wear a mask now. Some of them don't agree. Why are you this. consistently sowing discord? Uh, the Republicans say they want liability limits, which the Democrats don't like. You say that you want a payroll tax cut, which even some Republicans are cool to the democrats don't want to do that because they're total they're totally captured by the lobby of lawyers the lawyers lobby is probably right. the most powerful Wait, in the what? country what about the payroll tax cut uh, i want to see it okay this is the most f psychotic shit i've ever seen it's an ad break so we're just gonna we're i'm just gonna give you some of my thoughts immediately one why is donald trump so sweaty two why is this interview taking place on fox news three what happened to Chris Wallace? I mean, Chris Wallace has always been like the grill guy. He's supposed to be the unbiased guy. He's still, of course, very much, very heavily biased. It is insane to me that he is conducting a better interview against Donald Trump, a more contentious interview against Donald devil. Trump than liberals. What is happening? I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm so confused. Now, the bar is really low for you Fox News to begin with. So like any kind you of grilling, any kind of grilling is still uh, like regarded as like a crazy thing. Like after this interview, I think Donald Trump is going to start advocating for for AO, uh, uh, own you America, one American network. Like he's just going to be like, you I'm done. I'm done with Fox News. They're cucks. They're also owned by George Soros. So Trump mentioned uh, the lawyer the lobby. And, and of course, you there are a lot of lobbies that are uh, profoundly influential in American politics. That's true. Except Alec 
is like the largest uh one of the largest uh Legal legal networks lobbies on behalf of businesses and that's a coke operation i don't think donald trump has dementia and the reason why i think donald trump doesn't have dementia is because he would not be able to flip this hard he would never be able to flip this hard even memorizing the the talking points that he has memorized to to uh, engage in the mental gymnastics necessary for covering up albeit in a shitty capacity but still even trying to cover up for his many failures of his administration requires some processing power processing power that i don't even think joe biden is capable of mind you like i i feel like if joe biden was being grilled this hard if joe biden's administration of uh, fucked up this you significantly and he was being devil. grilled this hard you don't i don't admit, think don't don't, uh, joe biden will be able to defend himself this way so even way. though he's not defending himself effectively from the point of view of from the point of truth obviously or in the it, it's starting again so i'm going to go back to it but he's like still deflecting democrats have been running cities in this country for decades poorly why is it so bad right now uh, they've run them poorly. It was always bad, but now it's gotten totally out of control. And it's really because they want to defund the police. And Biden wants to fund, defund no, the police. Sir, he does not. Look, this he is signed the best part. a charter with Bernie Sanders. I will get that one, just like I was right on the mortality the rate. Did you read the charter that he agreed to? It says to nothing about the, defunding the oh, police. Oh, really? It says abolish. It says defund. Let's go. All right, get well, me, you, get me the charter, please. Please. All right. In Minneapolis, over the last five years, police use force against blacks what? at a rate seven times. Why are they that saying this on whites. Fox News? Can you understand why blacks would be angry at that? Of course I do. I, of course I do. Many whites are killed also. You I have to say that. that. I mean, many, many whites are killed. I hate to say but this is going on for decades. This is going on for a long time, long before I got here. So let's see okay, what this says see. here. Incentivize illegal alien, expand asylum, abolish immigration detention. No, I, that's not well, no, I, I, well, fine. Okay. This thing is many pages well, long. Fine. End prosecution no. of illegal border crosses. No. Support deathly and these are... The worst sir, thing, sir I'm, I'm, not, I'm not disagreeing with this you on incredible. any of those. I'm disagreeing about defund police. Incent the White House never sent us evidence the Bernie Biden platform calls for defunding or abolishing police because there is none. It calls for increased funding for police departments that meet certain standards. Biden has called for redirecting <laughs> some police funding. They literally want to speech. fund the police more. But that's their the platform. The, the National Defense Authorization Act, the ND. AA, you have threatened to veto it because in the bill, and this is supported by Republicans as well as Democrats, it would rename army bases named for Confederate generals. Now, this is a bill that funds military operations. It gives the soldiers a pay raise. Yeah. You're going to The only time Trump wants to defund the military is if they don't do racism. That soldiers. That's great. The biggest that's ever had this you're gonna veto this Because bill? I think that Fort Bragg, Fort Robert and Lee, all of these forts that have been named that way for a long time, decades and decades. But the military and says they're excuse for me. this. Excuse me. I don't care what the military says. I do. I'm, I'm supposed to make the decision. Fort Bragg oh. is a big deal. We won oh, two that's world not gonna wars. Be good. Nobody, that's a, to that's that a line that will piss Fort off Bragg Republicans. Is a great dude. state. Yeah, and the then that. what are we going to name it? You're going to name it after the Reverend Al Sharpton? What are you going to name it, Chris? Tell Wait, me what, what you're going to name it. Wait, a what? Whole thing Wait, what we the fuck? Two world wars. We have. As many as them, excuse me, I think to the best of my knowledge, we're sitting at the White House and the Oval Office is right behind me. We have as many as them. But Who, who's them? Liberal, radical left. And I'm not talking all I think liberal. I, I could tell you I like a lot of liberal. Oh, my God. People. He's I, losing like a lot it. of liberal governors and senators. Bro, imagine but, getting but Chris, light pushback and just babbling like a baboon like this this is crazy biden is exactly the same no biden is not exactly the same biden is worse if there was an interview like this which will never be conducted on television an interview this contentious against uh joseph robinette biden will never be conducted by msnbc or any of those like left-leaning or liberal media outlets biden would not be able to handle himself this well he would just go come on jack and that's the that's the ender. Donald Trump is so aggressive at like lying that I think he has developed a developed this confidence. And, and confidence is of course half the game when you're lying. 
He's developed this confidence where he can just like say justice. whatever the fuck he wants, you right? Your... Even someone like Chris Wallace, who obviously came prepared, even someone like Chris Wallace, who obviously came prepared, like can't catch everything. If Donald Trump was a little bit more rhetorically gifted, if he was like a Ben Shapiro, we would have a, a just a completely Nazi country at this point. He could just gish gallop lies, even some off the cuff that uh, that it's difficult to push back against. He's like the police one, the defund the police thing. Bernie and Biden want to defund the police. No, no, they don't. They want to increase the police uh, budgets. Back. Fox News has a new poll out today, and you're going to be the very first person to hear about it. Uh oh. In the national horse race, Joe Biden leads you by eight points, 49% to 41. That's, I think, three, four points slimmer than it was a month ago. And on the issues, people trust Biden more to handle the coronavirus by 17 points on race relations. Oh my God, by he's even passing points. him on the economy. This is And nuts. even on the economy, they trust Biden that more by be, one point. That used to be... I understand. We still have more than 100 days to this election, but at this point, you're losing. First of all, I'm not losing because those are fake polls. They were fake in 2016, and now they're even more fake. The polls were much worse in 2016. I, I truly think you that the internal father, numbers that he's devil. getting are Thanks probably from people that want to, you know, they just want to get him to shut the fuck up. I can't put number. two sentences together. I built the greatest economy ever built anywhere in the world, not only in this country, anywhere in the world, until we got hit with the China virus. We got hit with a virus, shouldn't have happened. And we had to close up, we saved millions of lives. Now we've opened it up, gotta go back to school, we're open, we gotta do things. We had the best job numbers we've ever had last month. We should have good ones coming up in two weeks. Schools closed, keeping their states closed. I called Michigan, I wanna have a big rally in Michigan. Mass evictions. 30 plus, almost 40 million people unemployed. No, we're not allowed to have a rally no. in uh, no. Nevada. We're not allowed to have rallies well, in these Democrat-run states. Oh, some people would say that that's a health risk, Some sir. people would say, would, fine. But I, mean, we, but I guarantee we you, had some oh issues my Lord. if everything was gone 100%, they still wouldn't allow it. They're not allowing me to have rallies. But i got to tell you, if way. I may, sir, respectfully, yes. in oh the Fox God, they poll, they ask people, him. who is more confident? Who's got, who's mind... Biden beats you in that. Well, I tell you what, uh, let's take a test. Let's take a test right now. Let's go down. Joe and I will take a test. Let him take the same test that I took. Well, this is the best part. I it's took so good. the test too when I heard that you passed it. Yeah, how did it's you do? The well, it's not the hardest test. No, but the it last. It's a picture and it says, what's last... that? And it's an elephant. No, no, no. You see, that's all misrepresentation. Well, that's what it was on the web. It's all misrepresentation. Because, yes, the first few questions are easy. But I'll bet you couldn't even answer the last five questions. I'll bet you couldn't. They get very hard, the last five well, questions. Well, one of them was count back from 100 by 7. You couldn't answer. <laughs> you couldn't answer All right, what's the many of the questions. I'd get you the test. I'd like to give it. Five they questions. asked me to draw a clock. Ooh, it's very difficult. It. I did it digital. They said, no, it's got to be analog. The stock market, NASDAQ, hit its all-time high two weeks ago, and it's beaten it 14 different times, okay? Uh, the stock market, Dow, etc., is... If he turns around and says, this is not indicative of the economy, though, 30 million people are unemployed, I'll lose my mind. I want to talk to you about Obamacare. Since the pandemic hit, See, millions of it. people have lost their jobs. No, and notice they're... how he didn't do it, because it's Fox News. To be fair, liberals wouldn't do it either. Why does it make sense to overturn Obamacare, me, with which right. people now are re re relying on? Democrats are going to say, the man who's wanted to kill Obamacare is going to take away your, the protection for pre-existing conditions. What? First of all, we got... I am in disbelief. I am suspended in my disbelief that uh, Fox News is doing this. Uh, I don't think this is indicative of the entirety of the establishment, like leaving Donald Trump behind. I think Chris Wallace has always been famous for the both sides style uh, contentious interviews that he gives. Like he's always he's always challenged Donald Trump, but never to this you degree. Love the Not only has Chris Wallace you never challenged Donald Trump to devil. this degree, Fox News has never channel, cha challenged Donald Trump to this degree. Not only has Fox News never channeled, challenged Donald Trump to this degree, Democratic leaning or liberal leaning outlets have not challenged Donald Trump to this degree. You don't this is a third degree burn. I'm not a big fan of Fox. I'll be honest with you. They've changed a lot since Roger Ailes. But if you don't like Fox, who the f*** do you I, like? I, I There's no one to I like. You, you just answered, like I, conspiracy I, I, networks. Here's a one tweet after. I'm not saying you're going to lose. I am not saying that. We saw how you turned it around last time. I don't think I'm going to lose at all. But if you did, 
How crushing would it be? To First you? of all, let me just tell you something. I know everyone wants to know that because they'd love to see me lose. Finally, I, I'm not. I have not. Do you know how many times I've been written off? Do you know how many times I've been written off? I, I've done some of it myself. My sir. whole. I'm not life. doing it this time. Don't don't do it because. But how crushing would it be? And you know why I won't lose? Because the country, in the end, they're not going to have a man who who's shot. He's shot. He's mentally shot. You let, answer the let questions. Let Biden sit through an interview like this. He'll be on the ground crying for mommy. He'll say, mommy, mommy, please take me home. Well, we've asked him for an interview. Sir. To be fair, Joe Biden would not be able to uh, handle himself at all. You know, the enthusiasm for Trump is through the roof. I, even I higher, have mentioned it. Even higher than last time. The enthusiasm for Biden is non-existent. Everyone knows he's but the shot. enthusiasm he is right about against this. you. Well, that's is hot. okay. That's his only shot. Doesn't this kind of show that you're so bad at your job that like people want to vote for you? People don't want to vote for Biden, and yet he's still very likely going to win because of how bad you are. Ed In general, not talking about November. Are you a good loser? I'm not a good loser. I don't, I don't like to lose. I don't lose too often. I don't like to lose. But are you gracious? You don't know until you see. It depends. I think mail-in voting is is going to rig the election. I really do. Wait, he's uh, already calling Are you suggesting it out? that you might not? Wait, he's accept admitting the that he's going to lie, and see, and yeah. if he loses, Trump he's going to blame it on mail-in voting. Oh my God! Of power he admitted. And then no matter, Wait, why did he admit it? He just admitted winner, it. He was like, oh yeah, if I lose, it's because mail-in ballots. Oh God, this is so psychotic. Can you give can you give a direct answer? You will accept the election. I have to see. Look, you, I have to see. No, oh, I'm not going to just say yes. I'm not going to say no. And I didn't last what? time either. Whether it's what? in 2021 you're or the 2025, president. your year is president. An election being conducted under your watch is literally your, treated, it's uh, your election. Even Mr. President, thank you. Thanks thank for you. talking with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Wow. They're totally cucked. They're Fox News, totally cucked. Own One, own one America Network would never remember John Lewis. Chris Wallace is now owned by the radical liberal Marxist Democrats. Okay. Um, so mysteriously, uh, I assume breadcrumbs will now lead us down the new breadcrumbs that will lead us down, uh, a, a, another QAnon pipeline is going to mysteriously start showing that Chris Wallace was a pedophile all along and also working with the deep state, as I've told you. Because uh, QAnon loves to just like add new, uh, add new villains, or they, whenever they place themselves against Donald Trump, and like Chris Wallace has like been contentious against Donald Trump in the past, but never to this degree. So just like Anthony Fauci is uh, is like a pedophile slash like works with the deep state and you know wants to vaccinate your children uh, to give them autism, uh, you know you Chris Wallace will also be involved in the deep state now I assume the, the QAnon cinematic universe is always expanding oh yeah incredible stuff incredible stuff overall it, it, just a crazy interview I mean that was a great interview I knew that it was going to be great because I saw you like little teasers of it bits and justice. pieces of it I you have love your father like my PP is hard right now I'll, I'll tell you I'll be honest with you I'm standing up you don't even need to tell me stand up Asan I am horrid right now I have not seen something like this before on Fox News. I feel like maybe I lost faith in American media that like uh, any sort of pushback against the president, I'm immediately excited for, especially one that lies so routinely, so obviously, so openly, so transparently. Uh, it was it was really remarkable to see. It was really good. Now, does this signal that establishment Republicans are losing faith in Donald Trump? Maybe, probably not. I I. As someone who has seen all the Donald Trump interviews, as someone who's watched all the Donald Trump interviews alongside you guys, I've never seen someone grill him this hard ever. Liberal outlets, Republican outlets, doesn't matter. Jonathan Swan, who is a reporter for Axios, as you guys know, who is also who has also interviewed Donald Trump, said, I think I've watched every television interview uh, Donald Trump has done since announcing his candidacy in 2015. Chris Wallace just did the best one and by some distance. 